This video is sponsored in part by The High Ground by best-selling author Melinda Snodgrass. In the Solar League, those without choice seek the high ground. Go to Amazon.com for your copy today. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another Profile in Courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted... Let me check something real quick. Uh, equipment. I think this is the first time I've got Liara. What do I got? Heavy armor, heavy armor, heavy armor. Nothing light, huh? Okay. And nothing at all for a quarian. Okay. Liara is... Okay, she's a shotgun user. <clears throat> Excuse me. She is a shotgun user. Um... Neither of these shotguns are uh, worth it for her. So I'm going to leave her with what she's got. Liara, on the other hand, is a pistol user. She's got Kessler 1. Yeah, we're going to go with a Kessler, uh, a Kessler 3. There we go. Wife and talented chef, serviceman Batia joined the Alliance military under anyway, the deferred sorry about education that. plan. I just realized that I hadn't After done finishing her service, Batia planned to, to open a restaurant. Um, either Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, Courage. da 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 Da, 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 da. I'm sorry, the idea of the elevator music is so ingrained that I do it even when there's no elevator music. Commander Shepard? Kalisa bin seen in Al Jalani, Westernland News. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. She looks better also. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Actually, the Normandy was co-developed by human and Turian engineers. Its design incorporates many innovations, all of which are classified, I'm afraid. So the Turians have knowledge of the Normandy that is being kept secret from the Alliance public? Well, yeah. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I wasn't aware it had been handed over to anyone. I'm in command, and last I checked, I'm human. Same goes for my crew. Human, yes, but you do work for the Citadel now, Commander. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Saren instigated the attack on our colony at Eden Prime. Once his involvement was proven to the Council, I was assigned to bring him in. That's... Surprising, Commander. The official line says Eden Prime was attacked by rogue synthetics. Good luck in your mission. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. And it's things like that is is why I'm, I returned to the Citadel. Now there are other uh, other things. Let me see. Journal, journal, journal. Um, I got to go talk to Admiral Kahoku. Um. Found some of these, found some of those. I need to inform Nisana Dantius that her sister is dead. Um, I can go talk to Conrad Werner. You know, those kind of things. First, though, I think I'll talk to Admiral Kahoku. Uh, Presidium locations and Citadel Tower. <clears throat> And, uh, all right, yeah, here. 
Oh, it's our friend Emily Wong. Commander Shepard, could I have another word with you? Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. That seems like a step down from wide-scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. Now, I gotta tell you, I wish that they had gone along with uh, putting Emily Wong in, in Mass Effect 3. Instead, they got Jessica Chobot. And while I understand that they wanted a little celebrity appeal, I don't. I never found her that appealing. And on top of it all, it robbed whoever this voice actress is of a position. And I think hiring celebrity voices just because they're celebrities is way wrong. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources Excuse haven't kept me. up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear you and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic that's efficiency. That's pretty cool. Whoop. This bug you want me to plant, could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. Okay. And then we can come over here to Admiral Kahoku. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the Council's assistants. Commander Shepard, isn't it? My name is Admiral Kahoku. Is there something I can do for you? You sent a recon team out into the Artemis Tau Cluster? Yes, that's right. They went missing a few days ago. I've been trying to find out what happened to them, but I keep getting the runaround from Alliance Brass. Do you know something about this, Commander? I'm not sure how to tell you this, Admiral. Your men were killed by a Thresher Maw. A Thresher Maw? That's not... My men wouldn't just stumble into a Thresher Nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance Distress Beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the Thresher Nest. Damn it. I had a bad feeling about this ever since my team disappeared. An Alliance Beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. Anything you need from me? Not right now, Shepard, but I'll let you know as soon as I find something out. I like the Rita Dizan double. I used to speak English. I promise I used to speak English. I don't know what happened to my English speaking abilities, but I had them. Okay, so I got two more points because we just leveled to level 20. Um, this is going pretty well. I still can't add to Charm, but that's all right. Spectre training, um, fitness, advanced adrenaline burst, sniper rifles. Well, okay, tell you what, I'm gonna do Spectre training, and I think I'm gonna add one to sniper rifles. Okay, and of course, Liara and Tally both level up automatically, so that's cool. Now, where else did I want to go here? Uh, let's go talk to... Um,
Right, that's later. That's later. That's later. Here. Okay, planting a bug. And sorry, di diplomacy. Let's go talk to, to Nasana Dantius. She's near the embassies. So we'll go there. Yes, the song in my head is Popcorn. Um, I actually heard this song performed live. I'm not sure who, who wrote it originally, but I actually I did um, see this, form, this song performed live by Michael Iceberg at uh, the Tomorrowland Terrace in Walt Disney World. It was actually pretty awesome. I know you. You're Commander Shepard, the Human Spectre. Is there something I can do for you? You're Nisana, right? I ran into your sister, Dahlia. Didn't end well for her. What? Are you saying she's... Dahlia's dead, Nisana, and I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. You're a diplomat on her way up the ranks. Could be handy to have a specter who owes you a favor. You make a good point. Anyone can come up with credits. But I can give you authorization to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Okay. Now, we have to go talk to Conrad, and we have to go plant the bug. I think we will talk to Conrad first, and then we'll plant the bug. Okay, Ward's locations. And we want to go to the markets. All right. And Conrad's back over here, so we can go talk to Conrad. Hey, there are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Being a specter is a big responsibility. I just want to make humanity proud. The vids are all talking about Commander Shepard fighting for all of us back home. And your grace and skill have inspired a whole legion of admirers, too. Grace and skill. Hey, can I get your picture? That's the first um, hint that this guy's a little off. I don't have a problem with it, but why? Are you kidding? Nobody will believe that I talked with the beautiful Commander Shepard beautiful unless Commander I get a Shepherd. picture. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Yeah. I'm sure she will, dude. <laughs> okay. Now we need to go to... Uh... CSEC Academy. Alright, and we're here, so let's go back this way. Now, I do intend to go back to some of the markets um, and see what I can find in, in regards to... Uh, whoops, hello in regards to armor for Liara and for uh, 
Kelly Zora. Okay, there we go. Now let's check the journal real quick. Planting a bug. Inform Emily. Right. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, armor for uh, my companions. Um, but I may do that off camera. <clears throat> Which of course means if, you know, I uh, I log out in Citadel Tower and I log back in, and you know, at the beginning that if if I uh, end this episode in Citadel Tower and I begin the next episode um, at one of the markets, don't freak out. That's what's happening. But once we get some of these things taken care of, um, the next big mission is going to be Pharaoh's. I'm already getting readings. This is going to make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. Complete five missions with the... Uh, with, with the uh, sorry. It was no Chris. problem. Good luck with your story. Oh my God, it deserves to be heard. I just had a hiccup. I appreciate your support. <laughs> I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again All for I'm your doing help. Is drinking water I'm going to show this to my publisher. Hiccups. It's a little ridiculous. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, oh, let's get let's get them lined up. If we're going to do this posing thing, let's get them lined up in a in a nice uh, a nice pose. Come on, girls, up here. Huh? Okay. 300 years ago, the Geth drove my people into exile. We asked the Council to wipe the synthetics out, but they ignored our pleas. Yeah, they were dicks. See how the trees and the fountain naturally blend with the arches of the tower? They have done a masterful job of capturing the aesthetic values of the Protheans. She just... slinks. Are they... Did, 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 English. Do I speak it? Did they program her to make that movement naturally as part of the Asari thing? That would be weird. Anyway, guys, um, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate the time and the attention. Uh, if you liked what you saw here, hello. If you liked what you saw here, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I will see you all in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.